You know, sometimes I just can't get creative enough with a written piece of paper or a physical whiteboard. I wanna be able to do some things that can't be done with basic text or analog options for visualizing what I wanna do. And I have been working on a process in my company that I think will lead to a lot more of a successful workflow when it comes to managing my projects and increasing revenue. But I was just working in Notion and typing stuff out and it just wasn't doing enough for me. Lucky for me, Scrintle is the number one way to make sure I get all of the stuff I need to edited and communicated to the different clients I have in my business very easily. Thank you to Scrintle for sponsoring this video. So you've seen Scrintle before. If you wanna check out one of the overview videos I have, make sure to do it. But I'm gonna show you in this video how I can create what I like to call the nagging pillars of success. So I realized in my business that I had some bottlenecks and all I wanted to do first was just take a second and think, what are the bottlenecks in my business? So I did just write these out quickly. So what are the bottlenecks in revenue and output that could be improved by literally nagging people more, right? So then I, with Scrinnel, can adjust the size of this text box and leave this here. I actually want to make it some large text because it's almost like a, a primer for me. So then with this, I was like, all right, so maybe we just go here, press add, and let's create a potential card here. Okay. So inside this card, I can write out all the different ones individually on a card. So let's do, and if I wanted to make, make a board, by the way, if I click create board, then I can go in there and like, that's the, the subsection of uh, making multiple cards and having it sectioned out. But that's up to you. Like for me, I actually think for the context of this, I'm kind of just on my deck right now, like jotting down, making notes. I would actually right click and create a board here. And that board would be, be what I like to call the nagging pillars of success. All right, so for one, what are the nagging pillars of success? Let's kind of explore that. First, I'm gonna make a big text in the center, just kind of as a title over here, make it look pretty changing the color of it if you want. Background wise, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then we'll, you can see right here, I can toggle uh, panning by pressing M and back and forth to clicking and moving around. So I'm just gonna get better view of this. And I think we have some for sure. So I'm just gonna add some different cards. I think nagging pillar of success number one is definitely nagging potential leads. So let's just start with this. Um, I'm gonna actually take this and what you can do if you want is expand this into connecting to other cards. So I just dragged another one and this one is gonna say current content nagging. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into some other ones. So let's grab this and go into potential content nagging. Let me streamline this to finished content nagging. Let's keep going. New potential service segments nagging. So I realized like all of these different components in my business are really important to getting people to essentially work with me on a consistent basis that, you know, just increases revenue across the board. By nagging new potential leads, people will be interested in working with me by just like, just continuously hounding them. And if they're eventually not and they're like, stop talking to you. I mean, that's, that's what happens in sales. Secondly, current content nagging. There's a lot of different instances. Uh, I can write this out for you just to showcase it, but videos need to be recorded. Editors need to be reminded of edits. Clients and sponsors need to be reminded of review. So if they, all of these different things are getting nagged, the amount of content that we produce is a little bit higher. Revenue is a little bit higher. Business is doing a little bit better. Potential content nagging. When a client or sponsor says they have an idea for a video, follow up on the intake forms. When a, and in general, give them content ideas to make more content with us, right? So doing things like this, you can pretty clearly see when clicking on it, I like the little UI thing that it only shows kind of as far as it is um, in the area when I click on it, it's like almost highlighting the area around it. Um, then finish content nagging, okay. Nagging to pay <laughs> to get invoices paid for clients and sponsors. I really like this text area, by the way, because I can do backslash and it almost works like a, uh, similar drop down editor to that you've seen before. Like if I found a video that would explain this well, I can embed it inside of here. And for me, I actually have a loom explanation of how I invoice. So if I want to embed this link, I can press add, if it's a Vimeo or YouTube video, and then I could also upload files and stuff like that too, or upload PDFs for like SOPs. And then 
you can see right here, I actually just opened up both of these very easily. So I can double click here, double click here. And then I can say things like keeping potential leads nagged until <laughs> they state they don't want to work with us. And then new potential service segments, um, nagging current clients about other services you offer, make a system for giving them free content so they are interested in it, right? All of these different things look great. And if I wanna expand on it more, I can open them up and write more in here. I can open it up as its entire page and work it in the system here. I love this. Like I love the fact that I can create this board as well. And then it kind of goes here, even though I just did it on my deck and like my whole area there. Then I click on this guy and it remembered that these were open last time I was working with it. I can open and close this on the side here. I can press command K. You can see in spotlight, command K, and then you can search for items in your archive. Like I have a content workflow here and I can go right back to even by just typing boards, you'll see that I actually get this board popping up, the knocking pillars of success. And this is a great showcase of the product. Like I just mapped an entire sub segment of the different types of nagging I can do. And I could imagine writing out different things here, like a card for a potential database for like what database are these connected to? This is connected to my CRM, right? So I would definitely say that that's interesting. So, and how does this connect to something like the new potential client service segments, I feel like it does, right? Because the CRM right there is connected to the current client. So I'd maybe wanna make uh, what I just realized, which is a interaction log on top of my CRM. And I would have never really thought about that unless I was like kind of mapping everything out and like connecting it in like a visual reference. So I definitely try out to map different things like this out because you can kind of see where all the different components kind of go together when you're making it in a view like this rather than just text. If you like this video and want to see more content on how to improve your skills using tools like this, make sure to go to all the other stuff on my YouTube channel as well as go to scrannel.com right now and use the code Dimitri10. This code will give you 25% off of the personal plan. Check the link down below and get started using Scrantle today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.